Okay, going back a few years here to the very beginning. Um, basically, uh, what I have is the inside is a driver from uh, an induction hob. I have one coil here, which is uh, driving the halogen lights, 1950 uh, watts. This coil here is driving, uh, being converted from AC to DC and driving the 24 volt uh, motor. Basically I'm getting about uh, almost 80 volts AC from this coil. Um, what I'm trying to show here is, well, I'd like your feedback basically because I think, uh, of course something's happening but I don't know if we missed it the very first time. I'm just going back over some uh, calculations. We have, uh, I've calculated an input voltage of 216. Um, the amps is 4.83. This is to, to light all of this. And the wattage is 1045 watts. So my calculations is here. This is how it gives me the amperage. We have uh, wattage divided by uh, voltage gives the amperage. On the output side, um, yeah, I have a meter there that reads 89 uh, volts AC. Um, if that's the exact or the correct reading, with the lighting at 1950, uh, watts this should give 21 amps if we go back to um, if we go back to the input from the mains it still gives 9 amps so there is a difference already between what's coming in what's going out we also have this is only on the first coil. The second coil is giving 79.6 volts DC on top of this or this. So we're uh, increasing the amperage. I'll just turn it on and try and uh, see if I can get it on film and then uh, wait for your comments guys. So we have 485, 86 amps. We have the watts, one for eight approximately. We have input at 225. <coughs> I have, uh, this is the AC on the DC side. If we turn it over to uh, the DC reading, Should be able to get a reading here. <clears throat> yes, yeah, seventy-eight point one. Um, we can even have a lux meter on top for whoever else. Um, as you can see. Uh, totally lit, but uh, but again, we got some power there, and uh, again, there's a lot of heat being uh, dissipated. Um, so taking on uh, the amount of uh, looks into the calculation, I don't give, I don't think it gives a fair representation. Um, but again. I'd like your comments back on these calculations uh, because as it is we have a we have a system where we can increase the amps uh, from the amount of input <coughs> um, I've also tried this with um, regard to charging uh, ultra capacitors and uh, they charge extremely fast 
Um, so the amount of amperage is very high uh, in the system. Um, but I'm sure that everybody's missed the point. If we have extra amperage, it shows that uh, this is increasing or yeah okay please come back with your comments before i uh, open my big fat mouth thanks for watching